and from a perspective of an older person looking at a younger person, I'm only 19. Yeah. So how would you think the reaction from coaches would be to a 19-year-old telling them about player development? Because that's what I would think would be the biggest hurdle, unless I just don't say my age. But... Uh, listen, as long as you touch on a pain point that that coach has, people listen. Okay. Now, when I started my YouTube channel, okay, I'm going to give you, this is a little bit of an example. So I've always been more specific towards football and soccer. Mm-hmm. And I I always thought to myself, that, like, there's no way a baseball coach would ever, like, book a call with me. What mm-hmm. am I going to say to a baseball coach? What am I going to say to a basketball coach? But with time... I have had basketball coaches that have booked calls with me. I have had baseball coaches, tennis coaches. And then I'm thinking to myself, but why why would they want to listen to me? But it's because there's something in my message or in my videos that I said that touched on things that they were thinking. So that's the same thing you've got to do with coaches. Is there something that the coach is really struggling in with that you can show them how to solve that problem? Maybe they don't know how to manage a group of players. Maybe their kids don't listen to them. Maybe they don't know how to plan sessions. Okay. Uh, maybe they don't know how to organize, how, how to become better organized with their sessions. Right Now, I know that a lot of coaches out there need more mentoring because the FA doesn't do enough of it. Mm. So you guys can go into clubs and put on a seminar to coaches to show them how to become better coaches, essentially. Okay. Now that could be a free event. You know, you're just getting your your name out there and you never know. There might be a coach there that really likes your presentation, really likes what you do, really likes what you do. And they might invite you to then work with their team. Or as part of that presentation, as a bonus, okay, you can do something with with the club. Maybe you train, you know, you decide to do one age group per week, a free training session. And part of that, then you can hand out your flyers and promote what you guys do. Wow. Okay. That is really good. Yeah. That's pretty good. So... I think that is powerful because that's what that's what's needed. Mm. Because coaches coaches don't get enough mentoring, mm. so that's why you get some really bad coaches out there because there, there's just no guidance, no help. So if you guys go in, put a really good presentation, and talk about this is how to structure a good training session. This is things that you need to do to become a better coach you know you never know who might be listening or watching okay or who might hear about it yeah okay yeah that is that's really also you can talk about the benefits of one-on-one training Mm. why why their club needs to invest into one-on-one a one-on-one coach Mm. okay so that's something you could present to like the chairman the benefits of one-on-one training. Why, right? if you bring us in, we can work with your goalkeepers. We can work with your defenders, mm. and that's going to make your players better because they're going to get that individualized attention that they're not getting on their on their their team training sessions, mm. and it's going to make your teams more competitive. Because the the pro clubs at the moment they're investing a lot into this one on one stuff, right? There's there's actually clubs now that have their specialist individual trainer. I've seen Man United with Bruno Fernandez across the thing. You might have seen it as well. Sure yeah. have, there's a thing called a football league coach. They do from Bruno Fernandez all the way to the academy boys. The yeah. specific group that they go with. Yeah. So, mm. you know, if you if you get into a club, you can be that for a grassroots club and then you promote your stuff. So you do the club stuff and then parents might want to invest into your your, your private stuff as well. Okay. Yeah, 
that is it's, that is a great piece of information. Yeah. That's going to be something. I mean, it's happy. It's already happening in the US. And normally what happens in the US then trickles down to the UK. Uh, but a lot of clubs are now seeing, right, well, our players are going somewhere else to do their training. And that's the, that's affecting our the, their development because we're, we want to develop them a specific way, but they keep going to these private trainers. So why don't they bring the private trainer into the club? To us. Yeah. And we keep okay. the development in house. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, that's that's really big out there at the moment, and I see it come into the UK very soon as well. So, if you can get in there with a club and put on a really good presentation, do a good job, you know, you that club could get you leads every month. Mm. 